on a parallel cisplex. The screen that you see on your on your monitor now is going to talk about how db2 data sharing groups are implemented. But even before that, must understand that how the data sharing is basically carried all over the world. There are actually four ways to do the data sharing. First is through the uses of a single server. Second, through the uses of a partition. The, the partition the data amongst the two or, amongst two or more servers. Third, distribute the data amongst two or more servers. And fourth, implement the data sharing through different servers. The workload can then be spread out across each server. But we, in our alternatives for accessing the shared data, we shall see how DB2 does it in a different way. To implement the data sharing on a parallel CISPEX, DB2 subsystems are organized in such a way that is called as data sharing groups. So we have data sharing group 1, data sharing group 2, shown on the left and right hand side of your screen. The members of each group can reside on the same CPC or on the different CPCs. It's not mandatory that both of them would be positioned on the same CPC. Each DB2 subsystem can be a member of a single data sharing group. Once you have understood this concept, the DB2 subsystems in a data sharing group communicates with each other through the coupling facility. Although two or more groups can use the same coupling facility, a member of one group can't communicate with a member of another group. Now you must understand that in addition to the actual data, the member of the data sharing groups also share the DB2 catalog and the DB2 directories that are shown on your screen and that stores the information about the plans and packages that accesses the data. In a DB2 subsystem or an entire CPC in a data sharing group shuts down, work can be routed to another subsystem or the CPC in the group since all the members of the group can access the same data. Because the DB2 subsystem in a data sharing group appears to application programmer as a single subsystem, no special programming is required to access the shared data. So this is how the DB2 sharing groups are implemented across the whole mega system.